What's up everybody? Andrew Steele here with Big Tony. I'm thinking about maybe selling this coach. What do you think, Big Tone? I mean, financially, if, if that's what you want to do, sometimes it, you know. He brings up a very good point. If it makes dollars, it makes sense. Yeah. That was like three grand in vehicle registration there so some of that was the city tax when i paid for this coach but right now this arizona license plate is costing me about 700 bucks a year that's about 60 bucks a month just for a piece of metal i'm in the wrong business so in today's video i want to talk to you guys about whether i should sell my rv or keep it talk to you guys about the pluses and minuses and see what you guys think Big Tone and I, we've had, we've had a lot of good memories in this coach. Uh, we just totally uh, cleaned all my stuff out of it. It needs a deep cleaning. A couple dudes and a dog have been uh, living in this coach for the last couple months. I, wanted, I thought I'd walk through, in some of the earlier videos, I showed you guys a tour of the coach, but this is, this is the coach. We actually, this is a new camera. I've never done this tour with this camera. So uh, yeah, this is, this is my coach. This is the back of it. A lot of closet space back here. It's all all cleaned out. This coach was totally full this morning and uh, it just needs a good interior cleaning and um, it's ready to go sit in storage for about six months or so. I don't have too many, too much time to use the coach in the winter time usually and it's really expensive to operate. So I don't, I feel bad having this coach sit for six months and that's why I thought about selling it. What do you think, Big Tone? Should I let it sit or should I sell it? I wouldn't let it sit in Arizona. That's hey. one thing. Smart man, yeah. <laughs> that's why I actually have it plugged in right now. And that's the worst thing you can do with a coach is have it sit. You want to use it. We've been using it. All the systems work. Hot showers on the road. Big Tone, did you have any hot showers while we were cruising on the road? At, at least three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was it to take a shower? You want to walk back? There? Was, How was it to shower? It was it was really hot actually. I was yeah. like I was shocked at how quick because like, I know we didn't have it plugged in at first and we plugged it up and then got super hot quick. Yeah. It wasn't even aqua hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> seriously. So oh, yeah. yeah. Even okay. a, a six nine dude could take a shower in here. Uh, only when we were traveling. He was using the, the shower house. The resort we were at had a really nice <laughs> shower house. And well, I'm gonna fire it up. This is just the last few minutes having it plugged in here. It's about to go into storage. So even when all the slide outs are in, it's still really easy to get around in this coach. Turn the lights off back here. Make sure everything's shut down. This is. This is kind of sad, shutting my coach down here for the last time here, so. Sadie, Sadie's like not liking this. She, she does not like this at all. All right, let's put these other slide outs in. See ya. Sadie, come on. Hey, can you move this chair real quick, bud? Yeah. So that's kind of how we put everything together. My uh, my coach has been modified to accommodate Big Tony. We got a, a mattress in the living room here just to make everything more comfortable for that couple months that we were up in South Dakota, so. All right. Boom. I'm gonna go unhook everything and uh, this coach is gonna be ready to put in storage here in a minute. Sadie's actually happy. She thinks we're hitting the road again here, but we're just going in on a short, short trip to the storage lot. We still buckle up though, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, every time. Uh, so this is a sad, sad moment to put this rig in storage and say goodbye for the summer, Big Tone. How do you feel, man? <sighs> I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> I need to find some more places to use this soon or I'm gonna have to sell it. What do you guys think? Uh, any, if you guys know of any really cool events going on close to Phoenix in the next uh, couple months, let me know. Uh, drop a comment below. 
And also, if you want to donate fuel to help Big Tony and I maybe go on some more adventures and make some YouTube videos for you guys, I'll leave a PayPal link in the description below. Any fuel is appreciated. That includes diesel fuel, fuel in the form of calories. Uh, Big Tony oh, consumes yeah. a lot of those. <laughs> so we, uh, we really appreciate all of you guys. Even if you uh, aren't able to, we really appreciate all of you guys that are just watching these videos. Unfortunately, Google AdSense does not pay very well and these videos take a lot of time. So um, that's why I can see why more people don't do YouTube. If you're not totally passionate about it, it doesn't make sense. But I'm definitely uh, passionate about RVs and enjoy making these videos. So hope you guys are enjoying them too. And now I need to start talking about whether I should sell my RV or not. I got a text this morning from a longtime client and Facebook friend of mine that are trying to sell their fifth wheel trailer and I gave her some advice on selling your rig private party and at the same time I'm thinking about selling my rig private party so wanted to kind of go through the pluses and minuses and and why I would sell my rig now the first thing is it all comes to price I told her that if you don't sell it in 90 days you probably have it priced too high or if you don't have it under contract or um, 90 days is kind of the you know if it doesn't if there's a buyer it will sell in 90 days so one of the reasons that I would like to sell my coach is I would want to free up that money and get like a smaller class B or class C that I could rent out on outdoorsy um, to rent a big coach like mine on outdoorsy it wouldn't make sense it's too much equipment to operate. The learning curve is just too much. I talked about that in a previous video about outdoorsy, but um, I, I have a friend that knows someone that's made about 23,000 a year from a Sprinter van. I was thinking about selling it and trying to get something that would make sense to, to rent out on outdoorsy. I think that would be kind of fun just to, just to go through the whole experience of trying to rent an RV on outdoorsy, make money, bring you guys along on the tour but I absolutely love my Tiffin Phaeton and to replace my coach uh, to go up from there I, I don't really see anything up from there for me I, I don't want anything bigger or nicer than that because the maintenance cost goes up my coach doesn't have an aqua hot it doesn't have a lot of the really complex systems like heated floors um, that some of the more high dollar coaches have um, so that's that's why I like my coach. It's an 08. It's pre DEF. It's on a really good chassis and it's basically like a really nice fifth wheel on a, a semi chassis basically. So uh, that coach is the perfect coach for me. It kind of looks like an old man coach. If I keep it, the only thing I would want to do is maybe wrap it and make the outside look cooler and maybe put new flooring in it to make that a little bit nicer and maybe put something on the cabinets to kind of update those but other than that i think the coach is awesome and i, I have no reason to get rid of it so um the financials of the whole thing i bought this coach i'm into it for about 120,000 bucks right now uh, i bought it sales tax going to get it all of that good stuff um, so being in it 120 grand um, if I were to sell it, I need to sell it at market rate. Well, I looked up NADA value, and NADA value on my coach is between ninety-two thousand and one hundred and twelve thousand. One hundred and twelve thousand being a perfect coach. Well, my coach is is in great shape, but it has little. There's a couple little minor, minor aesthetic things, but that would probably put the value down to about a hundred thousand dollars is probably what it's really worth to a private party buyer, maybe 110. And for me, it just wouldn't make sense. I mean, maybe if I got out of it at 115,000 would be the absolute lowest that I would wanna let it go for if it was just a real easy sale to like a friend or something where it didn't, didn't require a lot, of, uh, a lot of hassle. But I don't wanna get online, try to post it for $120,000 and then I get to play RV salesman, and that's a lot of work. And I don't know if I'm ready to try to field calls and try to find someone that's gonna gonna pay 115 because I, I you know, even though that's what I want to get out of it, the real buyer, a real savvy buyer, isn't gonna pay that. They're gonna go find one that they can buy for maybe a hundred grand 
private party and, and be out the door for a hundred grand and um, you know that's that's the way that I would do it but I just had my vehicle totally maintained it's good to go it has no apologies so no reason for me to sell it and then buy something that you know someone else is gonna that's gonna have problems now keep in mind when you buy a rig for a hundred grand there's probably gonna be a few problems with that coach if someone's selling a coach it's because it has problems and that's the reason that I don't want to sell my coach I don't have any problems with it so I'm gonna keep my coach for right now try to find some good journeys what do you think of my decision big tone I think you should keep it yeah absolutely and maybe get it wrapped I, I want to try to keep up I was hanging out with Dean Lauks and all those cool paint jobs I was thinking about maybe putting a cool wrap on it maybe getting some tile floors in it um, first I need to go to work and make some money because this whole summer vacation uh, I'm, I'm running out of dough another reason I was thinking about selling my coach but I'd rather just work hard uh, be able to afford my coach and just keep working hard trying to do some cool stuff to it and and, uh, and and keep riding the course so if any of you happen to want to buy a really cool Tiffin Phaeton and you want to pay full full retail because you know how good of a coach it is you know how to get a hold of me three X brother nice oh here's thanks here's another three X here Oh boy. <laughs> nice. And then a couple of larges for me, dude. We got a bunch of koozies, a couple cups here, dude. This is from El Dorado Trailer Sales. Elkhart, uh, El Dorado Trailer Sales, El Dorado, Wisconsin. Really cool. Really cool of them to send us these koozies and stuff. So huge thank, thank you, you to the guys at El Dorado. <laughs> we all geared up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, any last uh, last thoughts of the summer, man? Uh, your summer vacation's over, brother. Back at it. Well, can't wait to do it again next year. <laughs> so, I've got to ask you too, bro. Are you okay with uh, your house being posted on YouTube? I don't think you're really too oh, afraid no. of anybody, are I, you? I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think anybody's coming to do harm to Big Tone. So. <laughs> All right. Right, y'all make y'all subscribe. Hey, thank you guys. Hope you're all having a great day. So, thank you guys for watching today's video. Big Tone. All right, y'all. Make sure you subscribe. Hey, appreciate all of you guys for watching. And make sure, if you want to help us with some fuel money, we can use every penny we can get. If you want to drop a, uh, I've, I left a uh, PayPal link in the description below. And we appreciate all of you that are helping us. Hope you're all having a great day.